Welcome, everyone, to NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson. With me tonight, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson with Allie LaForce joining us courtside. Allie, take it away. Thanks, guys. Well, DeAndre Ayton's a defensive anchor in the middle. He talked about his ambition at the end of the floor, saying, I just want to be able to guard one through five. That's my goal. I'm going to show my opponent why he is not supposed to be on the same floor as me. Brian, plenty of confidence. <laughs> and the talent to deliver, Allie, for sure. Thank you. It's early in the season, but we're already seeing some teams fall short of expectations. Grant, what do these teams need to do to get back on track? Well, first of all, they just they have to relax. They can't panic. It's still early in the season. But, of course, it's on the leaders of each team to set the tone. They need to make sure everyone is locked in and on the same page. Looking at the starting five for the Boston Celtics. Horford and Williams together in the front court. Brogdon and Brown are on the wings. And it's Smart in at the point. And for Phoenix, the duo inside, Johnson and Aiton. Then there's Devin Booker. Then there's Jetty Osman. Outside, Brown. Pass to Horford. Back to Brown. Now here's Smart. The D's right on him. Brown can't hit. And the Suns with possession. Here's Osman. The kick out to Johnson. Shot clock at six. Wallace nails it from beyond the arc. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Out to the right wing. Brogdon up top. Pass to Williams. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. Making a statement here early. Going right to the rack. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's nice to see him be assertive instead of settling for a jump shot, especially in the first quarter. Now here's Johnson. He played a great game against the Lakers. Got a piece of it. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Boston ball. Just over a minute and a half in. Oh, got a piece of it. Pass to Smart. Now here's Horford. Left side, Williams. Here's Wallace. A dependable player on offense, giving them over 13 a game. Over Smart. Wallace's Wallace. shot is good. Five points in the game. The Celtics have gone one for three so far. Out to the wing. Horford outside. Back to Brogdon. Shoots over Booker. And it's Brogdon missing. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. And the Boston Celtics are one of the most decorated teams in all of sports. Think about all the rings they've won, as well as the talent that they've had on their roster. Now here's Booker. Last game, he had 34 points. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. Calls the play, and Booker executes to perfection. Smart outside. Here's Williams. Ooh, Aiton with the block. Just haven't found their offensive footing yet, only managing to sink one of their first five shots. Such a rich history for the respected Boston franchise. From the days of Bill Russell to Larry Bird and Kevin McHale in the 80s, and then Pierce, Allen, KG, Rondo winning the ring in 08. The players on this roster understand how important it is to carry on that legacy. Pass to Osman. Here's Wallace. And here's Aiden, guarded by Brogdon. Here's Wallace. He's got five. Osman with the bucket. I 
ideal way to start the game. Come out of the gate and knock down all but one of your first five shots. Timeout called. The Celtics, they want to keep rolling here following a win against Minnesota. And it's just so hard to stop them when they're scoring at that level. They were efficient and didn't let up at all. Coaches love that kind of showing offensively, especially on the road. See the numbers for Jalen Brown. Williams finds Horford. Now Brogdon. It's Brown on the wing. Against Minnesota, he was really on his game. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the D. How about the focus from Brown? Only concerned with making that shot. Here's Wallace. Defended by Smart. Outside Booker. The three is up. Perfect night so far. Two for two. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Pass to Brown. Lays it up and banks Jaylen it in. Brown. Brown's got his second bucket on the night. Muscling that one in. JB is a strong individual. Here's Wallace. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Austin Trailer. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. One thing you notice about these sons, RJ, many of them are considered strong two-way talents. And that is such a list for your team. Having guys that can get it done on both sides of the floor instead of trying to balance a lineup of just pure specialists. throw good brown brown now an elite scorer in this league really does it all both good from the line that time the sun's leading pass to osman now Johnson, Horford covering. Here's Osman. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. Yep, count it. I like everything he's doing so far offensively, finding his spots, making strong selections. Smart outside, over to the wing. Brogdon against Booker, and it's Brogdon missing. Phoenix has gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. Here's Osman. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Robert Williams picks up one. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Suns. Taking two shots. Shooting two. Here's
He misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. The Celtics have gone only three for nine from the floor. Out to the right wing. Pass to Smart. Back to Brown. Three-pointer. They get it back. Here's Horford. Uses the glass on the layup. Yeah, after all these years as a pro, Horford still plays with fire. Some second chance voice there for Big Al. Back to Booker. The three. And the three-pointer goes. Booker's got eight. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Now a timeout called by Boston. Their first chance to take a look at the Suns this season. Yes, yeah, surprised to split the season series last year. These guys have confidence in themselves against anyone they face. There was a good back and forth between these teams last year. You'd expect it to be a mismatch on paper, but it turned out to be pretty even. making some changes. Pascal, he's checked in for Johnson, and Diallo subbed in for Osman. And the Celtics making a change here. Shot on the wing. Good on the bucket. Horford's gotten his second bucket. The Suns have gone 7 of 9, a solid percentage so far. Pass to Booker. Fires from deep. Horford pulls it in. For Boston, they've gone 5 of 12 in this first quarter. And it seems wherever Horford has gone during his career, his teammates really enjoy playing with him. A testament to his leadership. Now here's Brown. He has six. Hitting his third shot in seven looks. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Pass to Wallace. Back to Booker. Now here's Pascal. And a slam dunk by Pascal. Unsurprisingly savvy pass by Booker, setting another guy up for success instead of forcing a shot. You can tell Horford's teammates look up to him. He's an accomplished veteran with a lot of experience and knowledge, Richard. Yeah, he's just so selfless. The kind of guy who actively tries to make his teammates better. Just a terrific glue guy. Really thought he had this one. And the defense, they were giving it to him. to Aiden. Can't get it to drop. Horford with some nice D. For Boston, they've got 6 of 14 in so far. Booker against White. And here's Brown. Shot clock at 5. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Gallinari, he's checked in for Horford. Jalen Brown at the line for one. Free 
throw good. Brown. Phoenix has gone four of six from deep to start this game. Diallo outside. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Grant Williams. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Phoenix. Hamadou Diallo. Shooting one. One shot. Austin trailing. Outside Gallinari. Pass to Brown. And he banks in the layup. Brown's got 13. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Time out, time Phoenix out. calls timeout. Coming into this, having notched a win against the Lakers in their last game. Oh my, talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them. But they were able to focus and finish the task at hand. And the mental game you talk about, a lot comes down to coaching. Having your players focused. Take a look at the best rebounders around the league. Third, DeAndre Ayton. Just so strong on the boards. That's a skill that helps your team win games. Here's Neto. Walker covering. Now Ayton. He had 16 in the win against the Lakers. Stevens' shot is off. Right side Brown. And Brown with the stuff. You see the confidence building in Brown offensively. First, it was taking over stretches. Now, it's taking over games. Now, here's Diallo. Eight points in his last timeout. Here's Stevens. Clock at six. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Good man. The defender really went after him. At the line for Phoenix. Lamar Stevens. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. Good on the second one. Now here's Walker. 13 points in the win against the Timberwolves in Minnesota. Here's Brown. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. A wing who wants to pound it down low. Brown earns a trip to the line. Jalen Brown at the line for two.
First free throw is good. So he gets them both. The Suns leading. Down low. And Aiden with the stuff. You're looking at Aiden using all of his height and reach, slamming it down on a helpless defense. Back to White. Left side, Williams. True on the 14-footer. I know it's early. But you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. There will be some letdown at some point. But these teams, they are built to score. So Here's Stevens. A minute 20 left in the first quarter of the game. The shot, no good. Brown with some nice D. Here's White. There's the drive. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Not just being selfless, but also smart with the ball. Brown is able to find the best guy for the right shot. Pass to Aiden. Now here's Diallo. Here's Neto. Some solid defense from Williams. Outside, Brown. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. That one on Diallo. Love the aggression from Brown. A tough cover for any defender out there. Three shots. Falls that puts him up one point in the game now. Richardson's checked in for Boston. And he can't hit the second. He nails the third. Phoenix has gone four of six from deep to start this game. Back to Neto. Pass to Stevens. Diallo outside. Hey, expanding his range. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. Outside, Brown. The three. He can't get it to go. Devin Booker. He's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for the Suns. Eight points in the quarter. Showing how effective he can be. More 2K action in just a moment. Take a look at the Suns' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. Their points came almost exclusively from beyond the arc, and as this game continues, that should open up the floor for the rest of their offense. And legacies are defined in the playoffs. Game to game, what's the measure of greatness for a star player in your mind, Grant? Well, B.A., I think it's all about consistency. The great ones in this league historically bring it every night. 
They may have a bad game here or there, but for the most part, the energy, the effort, and the consistency is always there. The duo inside, Johnson and Aiton. Then there's Jetty Osman. Then there's Devin Booker. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Boston trailing. Pass to Williams. Ooh, excellent D there from Aiton. And you got to give credit to the D for never giving up on the play and doing just enough to bother him at the rim. Booker can't get it to go. Boston's shooting it at 52%. Horford outside. On the wing, Richardson. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Wallace. Now Booker. Johnson with it. Horford covering. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. And Horford. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your sons. Cam Johnson. At the line for one. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And the Celtics in possession here. Six point game. Horford outside. No good on the shot. Johnson with the defensive effort. Here's Osman. Pass to Aiden. Here's Johnson. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Smart outside. Phoenix foul. Wallace. First personal foul. And now it's time to First take another foul. view of that huge swat. Oh my, oh my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Williams. Six to shoot. Brogdon, the pass to Horford. And it's good. Two points. The assist. Horford's got six. Pure physical ability gives Horford the advantage. The defense couldn't hold him down. Pass to Osman from outside the arc. Knocks it down from distance. And the Suns lead by seven. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. And Boston calls time here. Be sure time, everyone. Let's go.
And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Smart finds Horford. Back to Smart. From deep. He's off on that one. The Suns go the other way with it. To the inside. And there's Aiden on the assist by Johnson. And it's a nine-point Suns lead. Grown man strength right there. Aiden just pushing through contact and getting it done. Now here's Richardson. Not a lot of room. The rebound by Osman. And it's Phoenix's ball. A big stretch here going. 10-2. to two. <laughs> I tell you, a little extra pressure on D when you're up against a point guard who can elevate. Ha, it doesn't make it easy, does it? Yeah, hard to strategize for a guy who can make a pass or a play like this right in your face. And Boston has possession. Coming off a Suns make. Horford can't hit. Here's Wallace, guarded by Richardson. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First personal foul. RJ, you're in the middle of a few trades in your career. To put it lightly. For Phoenix. What's that like as a player to get moved around so much? Thanks for bringing that up so sweetly, Brian. I appreciate that. <laughs> Look, there's pros and cons to this. It's nice to know that another organization wants you for whatever reason, but it's also Shoot tough two. to leave an organization that you had a connection to, the fan base. But eventually, you figure it out. And he knocks down the first one. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Driving in. And Josh Richardson gets the whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. That's a second, and I think they'll keep him in, but he's got to be careful. A third, and he'll sit for the rest of the half. The Celtics making a switch here. White's checked in. Here's Wallace. That shot off the mark. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Back to Horford. Six on the shot clock. Brogdon with a bucket. A legitimate threat beyond the arm. Brogdon's sense for when to shoot from there is outstanding. Booker fires from way outside. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. White against Booker. White can't hit. The Suns on offense. They're on a 13-5 run. Here's Booker. And that's his fourth bucket of the game in seven attempts. He's getting it done offensively, making winning plays at every turn. Pass to Horford. Back to Brogdon. Wide open. Good. And it's Horford who picks up the assist. Brogdon's got five now. Love watching Brogdon make the right reads. He's more than capable of converting catch-and-shoot opportunities. Outside Booker. Here's Wallace. Defended by Smart. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. Johnson's got five points in the quarter. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Brogdon, the pass to Horford. Pass to White. Smart, outside. Shoots. The Suns clear it. Johnson's got his fifth rebound in this one. Inside. Osman with the bucket. 11 points in the game. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Brogdon with the ball. Outside White. 
and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to be on Cameron Johnson. Shooting for Boston. Derek White taking two shots. Good from White. So it's both teams making substitutions here. White hits them both. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. Booker, the pass to Diallo. Back to Booker. Pass to Pascal. Let's it go. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Give their offense some love. They've been the more efficient team. Yeah, coach has to be thrilled. You can draw up all the X's and O's you want, but guys have to go out there and execute with enthusiasm. Now here's Gallinari. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. And here's Brown for three. Book it again. Seven for 12 and going at the defense. You know this is coming with Brown. He is a ruthless sniper outside. Here's Shaman. Pass to Johnson. Booker against White. Launches the three, and that's good. Devin Booker for three. Booker's got five points now this quarter. This brings him to three total makes from the arc. We've just won in this half so far. Back to White. Over Booker. That went off the back iron and out. How did he break that one? He smoked it. Everything was set up for that to be an easy basket. Floats one. And a slam dunk by Pascal. He may not have that traditional power forward build, but his bounce, well, that kind of levels the playing field. Outside Brogdon. It's Brown on the wing. Off target from outside. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. And Johnson gets it to go on the assist from Booker. Booker's got assist number five here tonight. Now here's Brogdon. Defense right on him. Yep, that one goes. Brogdon's got seven points in the game. Getting comfortable in the second quarter. His efficiency is finally on the rise. Pass to Pascal. Here's Johnson. He's covered by Gallinari. Horford with a steal. Here's Brown. Plenty of space. And some Jay very Brown. quick points for him on that possession. Brown's got 24. He's shooting well. Doing his best to keep this offense in gear. But he hasn't had a lot of support. Johnson passes to Diallo. And they'll get another chance. Booker can't get it to go. Boston's gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. Outside, Brown. Pass to Gallinari. Right wing. Let's it fly. And it's Brogdon missing. And their free throws have dropped off in this quarter. They're settling for too many jump shots right now. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, we have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Stevens is checked in for the Suns. Neto comes in for Shamit. Williams is checked in for Boston. Kimball Walker comes in for White. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. That free throw good from Booker. 
one of the best scorers in the game. Booker is a volume shooter who also plays with a ton of confidence. It's Brown on the wing. Outside, Williams. Pass to Horford. Knocked loose. And there's 138 left to play in the half. Diallo with the ball. He's got six. Here's Stevens. Second shot opportunity. And it's good on the layup. And the Suns lead by 18. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Pass to Brown. From behind the arc. Oh, he drains the three, and he'll go to the line for one more. That one on Diallo. Aiden, he's checked in for Booker. Richardson's checked in for Boston. Shooting one. throw good Brown they've been flawless at the line this quarter they need to stay aggressive and keep drawing fouls that'll help them chip away at the lead now here's Diallo right now contributing around ten and a half points a game shot clock at six they get it back Boston has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Right side Brown. Outside Richardson. Here's the three. The shot, no good. And Phoenix will come the other way. They led by as many as 18. Looking ahead to their next game, playing at Dallas. They'll match up against the Mavericks. It'll be the front end of a two-game road trip. And even though he hasn't been himself, it hasn't affected his team too much. They've still got the lead. Up top, Horford. The fadeaway. Oh, but it's no good. And so it's the Phoenix Suns up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Jalen Brown having a dominant impact in this game. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. Phoenix has gotten 7 of 12 three-point attempts to fall. So the Celtics 5 right now. Brogdon and Brown are on the wings. Horford and Williams together in the front court. And it's Smart in at the point guard position. Here's Brogdon. That one doesn't drop. Johnson with the defensive effort. Here's Wallace. Over Smart. Wallace's Wallace. shot is good. 12 points for him. And Boston has possession. They trail by 16. And here's Brogdon. Pass to Williams. And down it goes. Two points. Williams has got his second basket of the night. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. Here's Wallace. Back to Aiden. Over Williams. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. Aiden's got six. Love seeing Aiden take these mid-range jumpers. He realizes guys at his position have to hit these kind of shots. Horford outside. Back to Smart. Four on the clock. Over a minute and a half now into this third quarter action. No good with a layup. Pass to Osman. Here's Wallace. 
This one for three. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. And this has been a nice start to the second half. They're three out of four in a rhythm on the offense right now. Takes a 13-footer. And Williams gets the bucket on the assist by Brogdon. Brogdon's got his third assist of the night. Here's Osman, defended by Brown. Horford against Johnson. Pass to Osman. Shoots over Brown. And the Suns get it back. Here's Wallace. Johnson with it. Fires to three. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. First team foul. Hey, <laughs> nice work of tracking the Phoenix. foul from deep. He'll Dan shoot three. Johnson taking three shots. Three shots. And he hits the first of three. And the second free throw is good. And he makes all three. The Celtics have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. inside 28 points for him you have to credit their effort I mean they've done an amazing job on the glass and when Aiden isn't playing basketball either the live or video game version he's often drawing yeah I mean he grew up wanting to be an architect I actually hear that he loves blueprints but probably his most famous sketch himself dunking on Joel Embiid his rookie year here's Brockton following the score by Phoenix you can tell Brogdon is a savvy shooter, getting it off and getting the foul call. At the line for the Celtics, Malcolm Brogdon at the line for two. Shooting two. That one falls for Brogdon. And so Brogdon nails both of them. The Suns have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Wallace. Here's Osman. To the paint. Oh, deflected. Ooh, rejected by Horford. The great positioning. The 7-1 wingspan. That combination makes Horford a dangerous shot blocker. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. That is a perfect placement of that dime. Just guided it right to him. To the wing, right side. Back to Brogdon. Smart for three. Boston again missing. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Booker. The rebound, Celtics. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Brown finds Horford. The offensive rebound. Brogdon from outside. Wallace pulls it in. The Suns have gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Tips. 
Now smart. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. No luck on that one. Johnson with the defensive effort. And this is the type of game you just throw away as a player. He has yet to score a point and looks completely flustered. To the middle. Boston with a rebound. Horford's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Booker against Brogdon from 17. And he hits the jumper. Booker's got four points now in the quarter. And the defense was right there, but man, is Booker good at keeping the rim in his sights. And the Celtics call time here. Nice game. Great performance by Devin Booker. And whatever the D has thrown at him, he's had an answer. His offense is coming naturally to him because he keeps things simple. You hear that, people? Keeps things simple. He's checked in for the Suns. Williams is checked in for Boston. White comes in for Jalen Brown. White, the pass to Brogdon. Inside. Collis's shot is good. He's got 17. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Back to White. Pass to Brogdon. A shot to stop the drought! The kick out to White. Shoots over Booker. White, good. White's got six. That's more than enough space for him to get that shot up. Here's Wallace. Right side, Johnson. Here's Shaman. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Five on the clock. Wallace misses. The Celtics shooting only 40% from the floor in this game. Williams on the wing. White on the wing. Goes back up. And he sinks the layup. White's got four points in the quarter. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. Here's Wallace. 17 points in the game. Pass to Shaman. Williams grabs the board. Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor, and misses like that are the reason why. Now here's Smart. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. And the Suns pushing it up now. Here's Wallace. Fires the three. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Booker's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Suns. Williams on the wing, covered by Johnson. Here's White. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. So both teams changing it up here. Derek White, one shot.
One shot. The Suns have gone 50% from the field in the third quarter. 8 of 16. Pass to Diallo. Here's Neto. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Up top White. Covered by Diallo. The teardrop. And White lays it in. White. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. Here's Shaman. Back to Neto. Pass to Diallo. Oh, he tries a three. The rebound, Celtics. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. Now here's Gallinari. Clock at six. Let's the three fly. The shot off that time. Phoenix has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. And the basket by Shamit. Shamit's got his first two points. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Now here's White. He's got 13. And the call will be against Hamadou Diallo. That's his third foul so far. The Suns making a switch here. Aiden's checked in. The Celtics also with a sub. Orford's checked in. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Oh, now that was a block. Some much-needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. Outside Walker. Fires the three. Knocks down the long J. Walker's got his first three points of the game. Yeah, the savvy of Horford on display. Just tremendous passing as a big. Pass to Diallo. Here's Stevens. From downtown. They get it again. Pascal. And it's in there. Pascal's got eight. Stayed with it. And his effort is rewarded with the second chance. Two minutes remaining. Now Williams. Two minutes. Outside Richardson. Back to Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Here's Horford. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got eight rebounds in the game. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Celtics foul. Derek White. Second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Phoenix, Eric Pasco taking two shots. That one's off. He hits the second from the line. They're really shooting better from the free throw line since halftime. That's a big plus if you're holding a late lead. Here's Walker. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Talk about confidence. Walker isn't the biggest guy, but he isn't afraid to attack. Walker, two shots. Shoot two. Free throw good, Walker. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half.
And both free throws good for Walker. Yeah, the thing about Walker, he plays the game with a smile. <laughs> he enjoys the game of basketball as much as we enjoy broadcasting. <laughs> now here's Diallo. He's got six. Here's Neto. Here's Pascal. It's hauled in by White. 59 seconds left in the third quarter here. Neto grabs the miss. Phoenix has gone two for five from three since halftime. Diallo on the wing. Back to Neto. Here's Stevens. Connects on the open jumper. He's got five. Able to create the shot they were looking for there. Boston has gone one of four here in the third from range. Outside Walker. Pass to Williams. Now here's Horford. He's covered by Aiden. Here's Richardson. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Here's Neto. Here's Aiden. Horford covering. Fades. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer beater. Great job ending the quarter on a high note. That's the play that pumps up the whole team, and they'll try to carry that energy into the next period. And so it's Phoenix, a huge 24-point lead for them. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's an unguardable pass. Flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. The duo inside, Johnson and Aiton. Then it's Amadou Diallo. Then there's Jetty Osman. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. Now here's Brown. Knocks it loose. Williams. It's good on the putback. Just great positioning to get the rebound and get it back up. Pass to Osman. And here's Johnson. Williams defending. Here's Wallace. Here's Osman. No good on the triple. Boston's shooting around 41%. Smart outside. On the wing, Richardson, covered by Diallo. Richardson, the pass to Smart. The kick out to Richardson. The three ball. And the Celtics, another three. Slow reaction from the D, and it cost him three. Pass to Osman. Here's Wallace, defended by Smart. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. They'll pin that one on Marcus Smart. First team foul. At the line for your sons, Wallace. Two shots. Two, two. And he makes a first. The Celtics making a switch here. Brogdon's checked in. That's good as he hits both shots. 
They're doing great work at the free throw line this half. That bodes well for their chances to close out this game. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Softly drops in the floater. The offensive IQ Brogdon has is fantastic. A creative score in close. Pass to Diallo. Here's Wallace. Defended by Smart. Diallo against Brogdon. Here's Osman. Launches it. Rebounded by Brogdon. Brogdon's got four rebounds now. Here's Brown. Good work there as it goes. Brown's got 30 points. For his sake, I hope they can come back. You hate to see the performance he's having be wasted in a loss. He's got it. His ninth make out of 15 tries. He is pouring it in this quarter. Maybe double team up shoot at this point in time. Triple team the dude. Brockton, the pass to Williams. And the shot goes in. Williams has gotten four this quarter. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Here's Wallace. Defended by Smart. Pass to Osman. From deep, Johnson. Boston with a rebound. Williams has got five rebounds in the game. Brockton against Diallo. Outside, Williams. Who poked away. And it's going to be out of bounds. Boston will have another go. Booker, he's checked in for Diallo. And the Celtics also making a change. Horford, he's checked in for Williams. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Here's Smart. Oh, rejected by Aiden. Yeah, Aiden has all the physical gifts of a great shot blocker. Size, length, and agility. What you have to admire about Devin Booker is how much he scores the rock, as well as all the different ways he's able to finish. And Booker is a guy you can lean on to help shoulder the offensive load, Richard. Yeah, he's comfortable taking a lot of shots for his team. He's a volume shooter for a reason, because he understands how to score at an efficient clip too. That free throw good from Booker. And he makes both free throws. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Pass to Smart. Horford with it. To the right side. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. And that's only his first turnover of the game. And considering how far we are into the game, you can live with that. For Phoenix, they've gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Now here's Booker. Shoots a fadeaway. Ooh, he's looking good tonight. He's drilled nine of 15 so far. Plays hard in every facet of the game. Nothing that Booker can't do. Smart left side. Phoenix grabs the miss. Johnson's got rebound number eight now. Here's Osman. 4-3. Second chance effort. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Outside Brogdon. There's the triple. Knocks down the triple. After sinking one triple in the first quarter, he nails another one in the second quarter. He's got it going on. Pass to Osman. To the left wing. Here's Wallace. Defended by Smart. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. 
Just five to shoot. Osman. Yes! And it's Booker with the setup. And the Suns lead by 21. He was solid in the first half from deep. He's a guy who can get hot. Let's see how he does here in the second. Smart outside. Brogdon from outside. It's good. He's 6 for 12 from the floor. His third triple of the game. A little more success from out there in the second half. Pass to Wallace. And here's Johnson. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. From Devin Booker. Boston has gone three for three from downtown in this fourth quarter. Now here's Brown. Back to Brogdon. Now Brown. Step back shot. And the Celtics Jaylen tack Brown. on two more. The mid-range is not an issue for Brown. And it's just another weapon in his arsenal now. Pass to Wallace. Here's Aiton. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Smart outside. And here's Brown for three. And the Celtics another three. The three-point shooting has been on point here in the second half. Pass to Osman. Now Johnson. Horford covering. Here's Wallace. Aiden with it. Six to shoot. Outside Booker. From deep three-point range. No good that time. And it's Boston the other way. Brogdon from outside. And Aiden pulls it down. Phoenix has gone just one of six from downtown in this final quarter. It's Booker on the wing. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Brogdon against Booker. Brogdon with a bucket. He's doing everything he can. If they want to win, others have to step up and provide some scoring. Timeout, Phoenix timeout. calls timeout. Good idea to call timeout. It looked like the guys were getting some heavy legs out there. player of the game, Devin Booker. I mean, come on. His offensive focus was just second to none in this game. He really found his rhythm early and didn't give the defense a chance at all. Hey, these fans love him so much, and when he gets it going, they respond. The crowd's energy fueled his performance. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. I was able to listen in on what Monty Williams was going over with his team. He loves the pressure deep. He told his guys, quote, we've got them on our heels. They're making mistakes. Do not let them get comfortable. We'll see if they can maintain their disruptive ways down the stretch. Back to you. And Allie, thanks. Outside, Brown. Smart finds Horford. Now here's Brogdon. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. 
at the line for the Celtics. Malcolm Brockton taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. And he sinks the second. He's upped his aggressiveness, wanting to get to the line more and doing just that. Pass to Osman. Back to Booker. And here's Aiden. Williams defending. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Malcolm Brogdon. That's his first foul. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. Here's Osman. Five to shoot. Pass to Wallace. Let's it go from deep. They've been struggling to find success from distance here in the second half. Boston has gone four or five from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Brogdon with the ball. Now guarded by Aiden. Count it. And he has been on fire this quarter in terms of his scoring. Hopefully that fire spreads to his other guys and they can rally. Here's Booker. And again, it's the Suns missing. Not his best efficiency this quarter. Uh, look, sometimes that's how it goes. Pass to Horford. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Cameron Johnson. The veteran savvy of Horford. I mean, he does an outstanding job going at the defense and drawing the whistle. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Horford. If you want to talk about a high-value veteran, Al Horford is your guy. I mean, he's been around the block and has a ton of wisdom to share with younger guys. That one's no good. And it's Phoenix's ball. They lead by 11. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. How does he do that? Hooker absorbs the foul but stays cool and knocks down the shot. Personal foul. 14 foul. At the line for Phoenix. Dan Van Booker. Shooting one. That free throw good from Booker. And Boston calls time here. All right, Phillips fans, here come your son, Panther.
Here's Brown. Basket's good. Jalen Brown. Brown's got nine points in the quarter. They put together a solid lead. And it doesn't seem like they're going to back off. Booker, the pass to Johnson. Back to Booker. Here's Wallace. Defended by Smart. Three on the clock. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Boston has gone four or five from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Brown in the high post. He's against Aiden. Here's Smart. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Smart's got his first points of the game. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Now here's Booker. Pass to Osmond. Brockton against Booker. The Suns need to get off a shot. And again, it's the Suns missing. You know what? He's got to look to get other guys involved. The three-point stroke is off. Outside, Williams. Here's Brown. Another one falls for Boston. Check out Brown keeping his composure. He doesn't let the hand in his face throw him off. Pass to Wallace. Booker with it. Now here's Johnson. Horford covering. Here's Osman. From deep. Horford pulls it in. Trying to end this thing with some big threes. But the accuracy just isn't there tonight. Steps back and fires. Brown can't hit. Don't do anything silly. Just ride out the clock. Yes, if they take their time and execute, the game is all theirs. Driving inside. Wallace. And a foul Second called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Second personal foul. <laughs> no debate foul. there. He got hammered. At the line for your sons, Wallace taking two shots. Two. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that'll put him up by nine. He did enough to put this one away. Just a hard-fought battle. Here's Brown. Got a hand on it. No need to shoot. This one is done. Yes, they've got to be happy with tonight's effort. And here's Booker. Suns win it. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor. And they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.